In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own barcode in Photoshop. So first thing we're going to do is go to File, New, and we're going to make a couple changes to our settings. Most importantly, we want to change it from inches to pixels. Our width is going to be 500, and our height is going to be 300. And the only other thing we need to make sure we change is our background contents to transparent. After these settings are correct, go ahead and click OK. Now you'll notice you have this checkerboard pattern. That means that your background is transparent or see-through or non-existent. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to grab our rectangle marquee tool. And I'm just going to click and drag to make myself a decent sized rectangle. Next, I'm going to first check down here. I see that I don't have my default setting color. So I'm just going to click these two little boxes right here. So my black is my foreground and my white is my background. And I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool. It looks like a little paint bucket. And it's going to fill in with my foreground or black color. So I'm just going to click once within my selection. Now I have a solid black background. Next, we're going to make a noise filter. So we're going to go to the filter menu, go down to noise, add noise. You'll get a little dialog box. A couple changes we want to make in here as well. For the amount, we're going to do 400. We want to change from uniform to Gaussian and we also want to hit the monochromatic so it's like a black and white fuzzy looking uh, noise. Once you have these settings go ahead and click OK. Now that you've added your noise we're going to uh, deselect from our rectangle so I'm just going to do control D to deselect or if you're on a Mac command D. And I'm going to go ahead and come back over to my rectangle marquee tool, but I'm going to right click on that tool and select the single row marquee. So for this one, you just kind of have to click. Doesn't really matter where you click as long as you get that single dotted looking line. Now I'm going to do command or control T. Now it might be kind of hard to see, but you might have noticed that these little boxes popped up. So I'm just going to kind of go into the center and it might be again hard to see, but I have these little up and down arrows. So I'm just going to click and drag down. And then I'm going to grab the other two or the other one and also click and grab up. So now you can see we have like a barcode uh, looking distortion. So once that's done, because we are in uh, the transform state, I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard to solidify that and then I'm also going to do control or command D to deselect. Now we need to cut off some of these lines to make room for our number sequence. So again back to my marquee I'm gonna go ahead and select the rectangle and now I'm just gonna kind of cut out a small rectangle kind of towards the bottom I'm gonna leave a little bit of room on the ends if you're not happy with your position, you can use your arrow keys to just kind of nudge it a little bit. There's really no right or wrong as long as you're kind of cutting out a little bit of your barcode. So now once I'm happy with my placement, I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. And now I've deleted a part of my barcode. So now I'm going to do either control D or command D to deselect. Now I want to add my number sequence for my barcode. I will note that everyone's settings might be a little bit different when it comes to your font size, depending on how much you did cut out of your barcode. So I have my character menu open. It's right here. It says A. But if you don't have it open or you're not sure, just go to Window and then go down to Character. And it'll either pop up or open up, as you can see as mine has opened up. So there's a couple of settings. Again, your font might, uh, your font size might differ, but I'm just going to go ahead and go with some default ones for right now. So my font size, I'm going to change to 15. 
And then the only other thing I'm really going to change is I'm going to change my tracking here to 200. And then I'm also going to change my font style or font family to Arial. So I'm just going to go all the way to the top because it is alphabetical. Oh, I think I'm going in the wrong direction. Let's try that again. There it is, Arial. All right. So again, you might need to change your font, but that's okay. So I'm going to start by grabbing my type tool. I have my settings here. I do want to make sure that I have this uh, flux bold. So I'm going to click on the outside of my barcode. Now 15 looks a little big for me. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this maybe to like a 12. Still seems a little big. Maybe a nine. Maybe I might have to go to the smallest of six. Six seems to work for me. You might be different. So I'm just going to hit a number to represent the outside. And then I'm just going to hit spacebar a couple of times. And then I'm just going to hit in random numbers because barcodes are random, so it doesn't really matter. As I get to the end, I'm going to hit my space bar a couple times and then hit another number on the outside. Now you can notice I didn't do it perfectly because I am going to go ahead and move this a little bit as well. Pretty happy with that for right now. I'm going to close up my character menu and go to my move tool. Now I am going to use my arrow keys to nudge this to the correct positioning that I'm happy with just because I'm making very small changes. So I'm going to kind of leave that kind of right there looks good to me again yours might be a little different depending on how much you cut out of your barcode and now we have successfully created a barcode so i'm going to go ahead and go to file and save i always save my work as a photoshop file first in case i ever want to go back to change it so i'm going to just call this very simply barcode i'm going to click save because it has Photoshop there. I'm going to click OK. Now, if you'd like to save it so it's easy to use in a different file, like as a JPEG, for example, I'm going to go to File, Save As. Now, it pops up pretty much exactly as I had it, except for I'm going to go ahead and change it to JPEG, which is the first option right here. And now I'm going to click Save. Now, it gives you this little um, warning because it's not going to save your layers. Well, we've already saved it as a Photoshop file, so it's fine that we're not saving our layers for our JPEG, which we technically don't want with a JPEG. We're making the file size smaller and more manageable by changing it to a JPEG. So I'm going to hit save. I'm happy with this quality and um, resolution, so if that's up, that's up to you if you want to change these, but I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And now I have saved it as a JPEG as well. Hope you enjoyed your barcode tutorial. Thanks for watching.